Hello everyone and welcome again to your English lesson with Mr. Halef. As I promised last time, today's session is going to be devoted to revising and further practicing conditional type 1. But first, let's have a few words about health at the time of Corona. Look at the following proverb. Health is better than wealth. What does that mean? If you have health, you probably will be happy. And if you have health and happiness, you have all the wealth you need, even if it is not all you want. So, be healthy and fine is better than have money and be ill. So, respect your lockdown. I advise you to stay at home in order to help yourself and help others your parents, your brothers, your sisters, and your neighbors. If we all, if we are all healthy, I mean, we will feel all better. So, thank you for respecting your lockdown. So, next please, let's uh, start your review of conditional type 1. I think, before we go to your exercises, it's much better to have a brief review of what we did last time about conditional type 1, means form and use. So, first let's have a look at this example. Perhaps Ahmed will take a taxi to school, so he will arrive on time. In conditional type 1, if Ahmed takes a taxi to school, he will arrive on time. Or, Ahmed will arrive on time if he takes a taxi to school. So here we have an example about conditional type 1. So, next let's have a look at form, what we did last time. So for the form, as you can see, we have if plus subject. Look, if plus subject, plus verb in simple present, then we have subject and will infinitive. As you can see, we can have other possibilities. You can have other models like can and may. It is also possible, it is also grammatically correct to reverse this order and have subject will or other models plus infinitive, then we have the if plus subject plus simple present. One more important thing which is extremely important about conditional type 1 is the order. What does that mean? In conditional type 1, this if sentence is what we call the if clause. And the if clause stands for the cause of the action. And next, we have the main clause, which stands for the effect, I mean, the consequence or the result. Again, it's also to reverse this order. And you can have the main clause, which stands for effect, then we can have the if clause, which stands for the cause. This explains the order that we saw here in the end. So we can have if clause, main clause, and we can reverse the order so that we can have the main clause, then we have the if clause. Finally, as you see, the use. When do we use Conditional type 1. We use conditional type 1 for a possible action in the present or in the future. Of course, here when you say, if Ahmed takes a taxi, are you sure that he's going to take a taxi? Not. Perhaps yes, perhaps no. That's why we say that conditional type 1 is about a possible. It's probable. We are not sure. Okay, thank you very much. Next, please, let's move to practice and have a look at a set of exercises. 
Your first exercise is, is about matching. As you can see, here we have a chart with sentences in A and second part of sentences in B. So what you do, please, first read and after you do the matching. Take few minutes, no more than three up to four minutes, because minding your time is very much important. So, what you do is, we should not copy you just much for each number, say which is the corresponding letter. Having finished this, let's move to the second series of exercises. So, exercise three, as you can see, we have a set of sentences with verbs between brackets. And the question says, write the verbs between brackets in the correct tense. These verbs you should write in the correct tense, which means you use simple present or simple future. Remember that in the last session, we divide simple present and simple future. Again, first please you read, and then pay attention to the if clause and the main clause. That will certainly help you to choose between simple present or future simple. Take a few minutes, write your answers, and after that, let's move to the last exercise. As you can see, for this section, you have sentences, and what you do is you write using the words given. It means here, if, or, here they will not have time to do their homework, or, if. Again, pay attention to timing. Do not spend too much time for a single exercise that will help you manage your timing for your final exams. Having taken some time to give your answer, right now let's move to the keys of the following exercises. So, for exercise number one, I mean the matching exercise, sentence number one matches letter D, that is, sentence one matches letter D. If he has a ticket, he will go to the stadium to see the match. Number two matches letter E. If you are hungry, I will make you a sandwich. Number three, letter B. He will not go to work if he feels so tired. Number four matches letter F for Letter F. They will win the match if they train and play well. Number five matches letter C. They will not get the job if they don't have qualifications. And finally, number six matches letter A. If Ali wins a lot of money in the lottery, he will buy a new house. Next, section B. As you can see, for the answers for exercise B, I didn't copy the sentences. As you see, I just provide the correct form of the verbs between brackets, which means the verb is it in simple present or in simple future. And for section C, as you see, Number one, if Emina saves money, she will fly to Rome. Number two, if they play games for a long time, they will not have time to do their homework. And finally, if she doesn't eat or drink food, she will not suffer from health problems. And I don't advise you to eat or drink food. Eat fresh food. I hope most of you have got the right and correct answers for these three sets of exercises. 
Right now, let's move to play some games. Let's relax and let's uh, further practice conditional type one in a light-hearted way. That is, we play, we relax, we have a good time, and we enjoy ourselves learning about conditional type one. First game, as you can see, you have three circles, and in each circle you have words in this order. So what you do, you put them in the correct order and give the correct sentence in conditional type one. You can start with if clause or we can start with main clause. Both are correct. Now, for each sentence, do not spare more than one minute. Okay? So, after finishing game number one, you can move to game number two. For game number two, as you can see in the example, we have a series of letters and inside this chain of letters we have a hidden sentence in conditional type one. So what you do, you try to find it out. I gave you this example and the answer is here. You can see we, if you start at this letter I, if I pay attention, I will understand the lesson. Is that okay? Clear? You understand? That's fine. Now, let's do the same for the following examples. You read carefully and you get out the correct sentences, the hidden sentences in conditional type 1. Now, again, for timing, do not spare more than three minutes. If you do this within three minutes, then you are excellent. But if you don't, then you can try and try. Finally, the last game, it's about possible actions. What if you? Okay? So, for this game, you have three situation. Number one, the question is if, what if you win a lot of money in the lottery? What will you do? What you do, of course, is you complete the following sentence, okay, by writing, by answering the question and writing a correct sentence in conditional type one. Number one, if you win a lot of money. Number two, if you get a visa. And number three, if you get your back. Again, timing for the three situations, no more than three minutes. So, for game number one, game number two, game, it's more or less three, eight minutes. I think it's enough. Now, I hope you will enjoy these games and they help you understand and further practice conditional type one. Thank you very much uh, and thank, so, thank you so much for watching. Looking forward to another lesson. I hope you will stay well and enjoy yourself. My best wishes. Uh, yours sincerely Mr. Khalaf and I hope to see you next time. For next session, it's going to be about reading comprehension, but before we start this reading lesson, I will provide you with answers about the games that you have just done. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time.